Hey guys, T Max signing in, and today I'm gonna to be bringing you a video where I'm gonna be showing off some overpowered players within the Serie A. Now, I've made a video covering overpowered players within the BPL, so if you haven't seen that, go check it out because there's some decent players in that video. And I hope you do go to enjoy this video as these types of videos take a lot of time and effort to make. And if this video helps you or you find it useful in any way, a like rate will be very much appreciated. And with that said, let's get into this. Starting off with the goalkeepers, we have Reina, Marshall. Shevsny, Handanovic and Buffon. Now in the Serie A there isn't a wide range of goalkeepers you can choose from so these are pretty much the best you can use and most of these goalkeepers are low rated so it'll be pretty easy to get your hands on them. Now getting onto the card starts off with 80 rated Reina, he has 81 diving, 81 reflexes, 80 positioning, 83 kicking which is insane, he's known for his kicking as well as 78 handling. He's a pretty decent card and past FIFA's has been on to use but he's a good card to use and that's why I'm putting him in this list of overpowered players. Moving on we have Marchetti or Marchetti I'm not too sure how you pronounce this he's also 80 rated so you'll probably be able to get this guy for quite cheap. He's 82 diving, 87 reflexes, 78 positioning as well as 76 handling which isn't the best. He's a decent card and if you're looking for a cheap keeper to build yourself a decent cheap Serie A team he'll be the guy to go for. Next we have Chesney 79 rated transfer fed from Arsenal to Roma. This guy has some insane stats on his card, I'm not gonna lie. 84 diving, 85 reflexes, I mean the rest of them are pretty low but apart from that his card does look decent and for a 79 rated keeper he's definitely one to try out when you're building teams within the Serie A. Next we have Handonovic, this guy's 87 diving. 86 reflexes, 79 handling as well as 86 positioning which is insane if I can say so myself. He's an 83 rated card, he's probably one of the better cards in the Serie A, most of the Serie A, in fact all of the Serie A goalkeepers are quite low rated, I don't think there's one above 85 rated but apart from that Handonovic is a decent keeper and last but not least we have Buffon with his 85 diving, 83 reflexes, 89 position which is literally out of this world. 79 handling as well. He's a decent card. He's overall 84 rated. He is a legend in the Serie A as well. And he's probably the go to for most people building Serie A squad. He might be a little bit costly given the fact that I think he's the highest rated keeper within the Serie A. But he's still 84 rated, which isn't that high, which makes him an overpowered player. Onto the centre backs, we have Miranda, Jesus, or Jesus, I actually don't know how to pronounce it, Caceres, Milonis and Rudiger, I think that's how you pronounce his name. These are all insane centre backs. Starting us off with Miranda, he has 76 pace, 86 defending and 80 physical which has main stats. Miranda is a beast, you guys have seen him play for Atletico, he's OP, he was OP in FIFA 15 and he's obviously going to be over freaking powered in FIFA 16. This guy's an absolute beast. Now this guy has been upgraded to a rare gold player, he's 80 pace, 80 defending and 84 physical, he's got some good few stats on him and his card should be pretty decent to use as well. Next we have Caceres, 83 pace, 86 defending and 75 physical. That is just ridiculous. How can you have 83 pace and 86 defending? Nevertheless, that's why this guy is OP. He's only 81 rated as well which adds to his overpoweredness. I actually know if that's a word. Next to him we have Malonis, he's got 81 pace, 85 defending and 82 physical, another insane card right there. He's overall 82 rated but I think that's mainly because he's got like 19 shooting but that doesn't matter when you're a defender. He's definitely going to be an overpowered player and one player you see a lot of people using within the Serie A. Finally we have our non-rare gold and that is Rudiger. He was transferred from the Bundesliga if I'm correct and he used to be a silver as well so seeing that he's a 76 rated non-rare now is pretty good. He's got 80 pace, 76 defending as well as 78 physical. I'm looking forward to using this guy, I really am and he should be decent in some Serie A scores. <laughs> Onto the full backs we have Maicon, Montoya, Evro, Zuniga, Abate and Sandro. These are all good cards. Maicon's pretty decent, overall 80 rated. He's got balanced stats guys, his stats are freaking balanced. As you can see 78 pace, 78 dribbling, 78 defending, 78 physical, 77 passing, 72 
shooting, his card stats are really balanced and yeah he should be a decent right back to use and he shouldn't cost that much as well for people looking to build Serie A team. Next we have Montoya, he's got 86 pace, 76 dribbling, 76 defending, 76 physical, freaking 76 everywhere. Now this guy is pretty decent, his car looks decent as well, I think he had 88 pace in FIFA 15 so his pace has gone down but nevertheless he still looks like a good right back to use and he's definitely one I would recommend and he looks like he's going to be OP. Next here we have Evra, OP as ever, 78 pace, 76 dribbling, 82 defending as well as 74 physical, he actually has 72 pass as well so he might actually be able to make runs up and cross the ball in, he's an overall 81 rated card and yeah Evra is just a beast. Zuniga is next and he has 89 pace, 81 dribbling as well as 74 physical which isn't the highest. He was upgraded from a silver card though so a rare gold 77 rated card is pretty decent I'm not gonna lie and yet this guy is definitely gonna be OP. We now have Abate here who is now a rare gold. He was upgraded from a rare silver which he was in FIFA 15 and yeah he's as good as ever, as OP as ever. His pace is on point as you can see there, 92 pace, he has 76 dribbling. 80 physical as well as 75 defending he's in my opinion the best right back in the Serie A I don't really think anyone can top him which is what makes him OP and the fact that he's only 78 rated is just mind blowing I don't understand how that works and last but not least we have Sandro here he's another transfer he's been transferred to Juventus he has 85 pace 81 dribbling 80 defending as well as 75 physical to add to this he's got 75 passing which means he can get down and freaking bomb down the wing and cross balls in he's a decent card and imagine the hybrids people will be able to build with this guy given the fact that he's now in the series <laughs> here are my central midfielders we have Pereira, Medel, Guarin, Allen and Niangulan all of these guys look pretty decent I'm not going to lie a lot of people are actually saying Pereira might be the next Messi alongside one other player which I'll cover in this video Nevertheless, Pereira has 85 pace, 85 dribbling, 74 defending, 75 physical, 81 passing, and 71 shooting. His stats are literally just all freaking balanced. That is insane. He's 81 rated, and I'm guessing this guy's a transfer as well. He wasn't playing for Juventus, I don't think, last year. And yeah, he's definitely one to look out for. Next, we have Midel. I'll call this guy the Chilean Bulldog. He's quite short, but he's got 76 pace, 79 defending, and 89 physical. I mean, 80. 89 physical that's just insane he's an 81 rated card which means it's probably going to be really cheap and i'm pretty sure if you were to look up the word overpowered in the dictionary you see his little pretty smiling face right there probably wouldn't say that's his face next we have guarin he's been a beast for the last few fifas and he's almost definitely always overpowered he has 79 pace 82 dribbling 88 physical as well as 80 shot and 79 passing his stats are just freaking incredible incredible he's OP and there's nothing else I can say about this guy you guys know about his long shots you guys know what this guy can do he's just a beast next we have Alan I think he's a transfer as well he has 76 pace 78 dribbling 79 defending 81 physical and 73 passing he's overall 81 rated and he looks like a beast I've never really used him before so he's probably definitely a new transfer into the Serie A his card looks insane and you'll probably be seeing this guy in a lot of Serie A sweat teams and last but not least we have Nian Golan, he has 80 pace, 81 dribbling, 80 defending, 84 physical, 79 passing and 78 shooting all his stats I don't think you can get a player more balanced than this apart from like Pogba or something Neangolan is probably gonna be the cheaper version of Pogba in my opinion as you can see his stats they are pretty OP and yet I doubt anyone would say this card is an OP <laughs> moving on to my wingers we have Keita, Anderson, Kishner, Biabiani, Quadrado and Kondreva Keita is an OP player he was on FIFA 15 so I'm pretty sure he's gonna be OP within FIFA 16 he's 90 he pays 81 dribbling that combination is just OP and it also has 71 physical as well which means he can kind of push past some players he's a decent looking card next we have Anderson I think he's a new transfer into the Serie A 92 pace 85 dribbling as well as 75 shot and 74 passing I mean with that pace and that passing ability he should be able to get a few crosses in he'll definitely be an overpowered player given the fact that he's only 79 rated next to him there's Kishner 85 pace 81 
dribbling he doesn't look like the best of cards but bear in mind he was upgraded from a silver and he is a five star skiller a lot of people are probably going to end up using him i figure he's going to be cheap at the start of fifa so if you see him about on the market definitely buy him because he is definitely a hidden gem next to him we have the french flash and that is biabiani 94 pace 82 dribbling this guy is insane the way he gets through the way he's been getting through defenses since like fifa 13 is insane his card's actually good to use he's only 78 rated which means that he's going to be fairly cheap and yeah he's always a winger a lot of people end up using and there's no doubt that he'll be overpowered now on with another transfer we have quadrado has transferred from chelsea to juventus 93 pace 87 dribbling 71 physical 75 passing as well as 77 shot he didn't really get much of a chance to play at chelsea but his car looks insane nevertheless he also has 5 star skills as well so there's nothing not to love about this guy and finally we have Kandreva he was OP in FIFA 15 in FIFA 14 he was decent as well looking at his card you can see he's got 86 pace 85 dribbling 74 physical 82 passing and 81 shooting that 82 passing and 86 pace will allow him to freaking bomb down the wings and get some balls into the box if you have a tall striker they will pretty much 90% put it away and that's why this guy is a beast and he's only 83 rated like that shows how overpowered he is now finally with the strikers we have morata palacio daibala muriel and yang now i know i've got two silvers in there they're actually old people i'll get onto that in a second Morata is a pretty decent looking card he's only got 84 pace which might stop a few people using him but bear in mind this guy is a beast he has 82 dribbling 73 physical as well as 81 shooting his shooting is insane and in game he's got a bit of strength about him so he'll be able to get past defenders and actually get you some goals next to him with Palacio he's 80 rated as you can see he's got 85 pace 84 dribbling and 71 physical he also has 76 passing and 78 shooting when you talk talk about overpowered you talk about palacio this guy's been overpowered for the past two if not three fifas he's insane to use in game and this is why he's in this video beside him i have another argentinian and that is dybala or dybala however you pronounce it this guy's 87 pace 87 dribbling he also has 80 shooting as well alongside 74 passing he looks like a decent card he is the other cheap messi next to Pereira, and yeah he looks pretty op by just looking at his stats now we have the two silvers starting us off with Muriel with 88 pace, 84 dribbling as well as 74 shooting. Muriel has been OP for the past few FIFAs. He always ends up costing quite a few coins to actually buy him because of how good he is which just proves that this guy is OP. And next to him we have Niang who has 86 pace, 82 dribbling as well as 72 shooting. I know his stats aren't that high but in FIFA 15 he played either left wing or right wing. I'm not quite sure but this guy on the wings was OP. Another player I forgot to mention guys was Menes. This guy is an absolute beast. As you can see there, he's got 86 pace, 85 dribbling, as well as 77 shooting. It looks like he's only got low physical, but in game this guy is a beast. He's in fact the best CVR striker of you. So yeah. Right guys, that's pretty much it for this video. I do hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to drop a like if you did. Also let me know down in the comment section which one of these players you're most looking forward to playing with, as I'm actually quite interested because there's quite a big choice of players to choose from and if you're someone who's trying to build squads and this video helps in any way also let me know because i want to know if this video is helping you guys as well as this if you want to see me cover another league let me know down in the comment section below as i'll be happy to don't forget to subscribe for more fifa 16 content that's about it from me today this is tmax signing out thanks for watching guys and see ya <laughs> This is the end of the video, hot. If you enjoy, just comment and subscribe. Wanna see more? Don't forget to leave a like. Do it. <laughs> this is Team Exciting Power.